Hello dear friends, welcome back. Let us see about the last cell of the connective tissue that we are going to discuss that is called the pericyte. What are pericytes? Pericytes are the sites or the cells which are around cells, right. Very simply, pericyte, site means cells and peri means around. So, these are the cells which are around other cells. How? Look carefully. I will draw a diagram here. For example, this is a blood vessel right friends is a blood vessel and in this blood vessel you know in the previous lecture we had said that this blood vessel the walls of blood vessels are made up of these endothelial cells ok let me make a little bit for it these are the endothelial cells and then and so certainly they have no gap junctions between them right these are the endothelial cells ok endothelial cells right now look carefully what is this this is the basement membrane basement membrane done and this is the endothelium endothelium so these pericytes are embedded in this basement membrane right these pericytes are present here they are embedded in this basement membrane and what is their function very importantly they perform different functions look carefully in the blood whenever there are different substances which are damaging these endothelial cells or we say that whenever there is a tear to the blood vessel so the blood is easily oozing out of this area so in order to protect this blood vessel and in order to prevent this blood from oozing out these uh, pericytes will uh, fastly migrate to this area and they will close this open blood vessel here and they will fastly uh, they will fastly mit mitotically uh, reproduce and they will fastly fill this area and they prevent the blood from oozing out so pericytes are present around the cells so these are the cells endothelial cells these pericytes are present around these endothelial cells that we say call them pericytes right what is their shape so the shape of these pericyte cells are a semicircular shape. They have semi-circular shape. Right. Very simply, they have semicircular shape. Then we say, what is their number? How many pericytes will be present in your body? Very funny question. So there are hundred million, hundred million pericytes can be found in your body so look what is their number very much they are present what is their lifespan the lifespan of these endothelial cells so they say that their lifespan is about nine days so they remain for nine days and after that they die and before dying they reproduce before dying they reproduce so we say their lifespan is about nine days and then they are also derived from mesenchymes you know they are derived from mesenchyme why because that's why we are discussing them in the cells of connective tissue so they are derived from mesenchymal cells right friends and then what is their location where are these pericytes located so as i told you here they are embedded in the basement membrane right so they are mostly embedded embedded in basement membrane basement membrane of around blood vessels you know that and what is their size what is the size of these cells these pericytes so their size is about 70 micrometer right their size is about 70 micrometer and what is their function i told you in the beginning of this lecture the function of these cells is protection of these endothelial cells and protection of these blood vessels whenever the blood vessels are teared the blood will ooze out there will be hemorrhage there will be loss of blood so fastly these endothelial these these pericytes will go and migrate to that area and they will protect that area right so this is about pericytes friends so here we are finished with the cells of the connective tissue we recorded about osteocyte we recorded about osteoblast right we recorded about chondro chondrocyte 
we recorded about chondro chondroblast we recorded about mast cell mast cell we recorded about pericyte right and we recorded about endothelial cell right so these were the cells of connective tissue that we discussed in a very simple way and i hope you will remember all these cells so friends our next lecture will be about the fibers of connective tissue you know i told you that connective tissue is made up of three important factors the fibers right the ground substance and the cells so these two are discussed in next lecture will be about fibers these are elastic fibers reticular fibers and collagen fibers see you guys in the next lecture till then allah